The health and productivity of oceans are essential to life on Earth. But now, the ocean is changing fast, especially in the Arctic. Frozen for much of the year, the ocean is central to every aspect of life in the Arctic. The ocean provides vital habitat for polar bears, walrus, whales, seals, fish, and birds. Arctic people have depended on these animals since time immemorial, and the Arctic plays a crucial role in the planet's climate system by cooling the Earth. All of this is now at risk. Human emissions of carbon dioxide are warming the ocean, causing sea ice to retreat. The Arctic is warming twice as fast as the rest of the planet. The oceans have absorbed about a third of the carbon dioxide we have produced so far, reducing the effects of climate change. But there's a cost. All that carbon dioxide is turning the oceans more acidic. Ocean acidification will have major adverse effects on marine life, especially those that produce shells. The Arctic Ocean is feeling these effects first and fastest. And what happens in the Arctic will soon affect the rest of the planet by changing weather patterns and ocean currents. People who live in the Arctic have seen these changes already. Climate change is causing a dramatic loss of sea ice. Ice is a supporter of life. It brings the sea animals from the north into our area, and in the fall it becomes an extension of our land. When it freezes along the shore, we go out on the ice to fish, hunt marine mammals, and to travel. When it starts disintegrating and disappearing faster, it affects our lives dramatically. Ice no longer protects the Arctic shoreline. Waves crashing out the Arctic coast and melting permafrost threaten coastal communities like Shishmaref and Kevalina. At the same time, shipping, oil and gas, and fishing industries are coming to these changing areas. The Arctic ecosystem already stressed by warming and acidification, cannot withstand irresponsible industrial development. Warming, acidification, and industrialization are combining to create a bottleneck for survival. Reducing carbon dioxide emissions is essential to stop warming and acidification in the Arctic Ocean. Meanwhile, we must take additional steps to give Arctic marine life a chance to cope. Oceana is working to stop industrial threats to the Arctic Ocean. Oceana is the largest international conservation group solely dedicated to protecting the ocean. We know that industrial fishing can affect the ecology of the ocean. The U.S. Arctic Ocean has been largely unexploited by industrial fishing, but retreating sea ice and northward expansion of fish populations increased the likelihood of exploitation. Oceana was certain that too much fishing, too fast and too soon, would put the Arctic marine food web at risk. Oceana worked with the fishing industry, Alaska Native peoples, and government regulators to close the waters of U.S. Arctic Ocean to industrial fishing. The regulation prevents commercial fishing until science shows Industrial fishing activity won't harm the ecosystem or harm the subsistence way of life. It is the largest precautionary measure in United States fishery management history. This approach must be used for other industrial activities in the Arctic, including offshore drilling and shipping. The science is sound, the law is clear, and the need for policy change is indisputable. The United States must take immediate action to reduce carbon dioxide emissions to protect the public health and welfare of the Arctic, and ultimately, the planet. We must also take a precautionary, science-based approach to decisions about industrial activities in the Arctic. That way, we can ensure that the Arctic Ocean and the resources it provides are there for future generations. Learn and do more at Oceana.org.